Welcome back to Living 808, everybody. The Hawaii United Okinawa Association does so many positive things for communities across the state, and there is a way to get involved. John caught up with the executive director in YPO. Joined now by John Itamura. He's the executive director of the Hawaii United Okinawa Association. Thank you so much for having me here at the, the center. Thank yes, you. welcome to the Hawaii Okinawa Center out here in beautiful Waipio. And you know, not, not too often that we get visitors as prominent as yourself visiting us. So thank you for coming over. Oh, well, I appreciate that. I don't feel too prominent, but thank you. I appreciate that. Um, tell me what you guys do, what the, uh, what the association does. So we were established back in 1951. So it's been over 70 years that we've been here. It was established to really help the post-war relief efforts in Okinawa from Hawaii, built that bond, that bridge between Hawaii and Okinawa. Today we have over 50 clubs. Most of them are based on ancestral roots. Mm -hmm. So myself, my parents are from Chatan and Ishikawa. So those two clubs, we do activities with those clubs. We also have clubs that are not Based on geographic locations, they have um, Hui Maka'ala. They, they focus on college educational grants and scholarships. Mm -hmm. Hui Olao Lima is an all-women's support club. Then we have, of course, Shinka, which is the young adults, and then Young Okinans of Hawaii, also some young adults uh, that, that focus on culture. But all that culminates, really, in our biggest annual event, which is the Okinawan Festival, and this year we celebrate our 40th. And I want to know what the early early years of the festival was like, because 40 years is a long time, four decades. What were the early years like? Well, you know, our mission as HOA has always been to preserve, promote, and perpetuate, and the Okinawa Festival does that. So way back in the 70s, they used to have this thing called the Hawaii Okinawa Cultural Jubilee. Mm -hmm. So when people went to Okinawa and did a, a leadership tour, they, they saw the Naha Festival, and they came back, they said, we got to have one of those. So in 1982, they started the Okinawa Festival at McCoy Pavilion. Yeah. Then it kind of grew. It, it, it transferred to uh, uh, Alamo, uh, I'm sorry, the Thomas Square Park. Then it grew again. So in 1990, we had our first at the Kapiolani Park bandstand. You, a lot of people remember we used practically half a park to do our festival. A lot of tourists come from Waikiki. Then, of course, uh, you know, we were running into some issues with weather and whatnot, so we moved to the Hawaii Convention Center in 2018. So how can people get involved with your association? Well, of course, you don't have to be Okinawan to get involved with our association. Our community is filled with many people who are not Okinawan. As long as you're Okinawan or Uchinanchu at heart, we say chimugukuru, uh, meaning having that Okinawan spirit mm -hmm. and that passion for all that is uh, our heritage and our culture. So we have many volunteers who are not Okinawan, not a drop of Okinawan. Uh, they're very important to us. Volunteers that come here to the center, are, uh, we have gardeners, we have uh, researchers, and we invite more, you know, anyone that's interested in helping us, we, we ask them to come by, join us as a volunteer. Uh, we have over 4,000 volunteers at the festival alone, and that comes from all over the island. So it's not only uh, within our community, but many outside our community. Somebody wanted to get some more information about uh, your association and how they can get involved. Is there a place they can go find information? Yes, go online to our HUA.org. Everything's there. You can find out about the festival and about all our other events throughout the year and also how to come involved, become involved with our organization. Thank you for letting me come down. I appreciate it. And don't forget that the festival is coming up. It's Saturday. And so if you want to get your tickets, uh, go find them online and enjoy. Thank you for having me down. Appreciate it. Thank you for coming by. Thanks. Super cool. I'm gonna be pounding this drum all the time. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. Uh, John's a great guy. Uh, the Okinawa Center is where we filmed last night's episode so. of Sam Choi's in the Kitchen. We did it outdoors yeah. in front of their waterfall. Good fun. Beautiful um, place. And it is. Th there's a lot of history at that place in their little museum. Mm -hmm.
Good stuff. Also, too, um, this Saturday, I'll be there. So if you guys are stopping by the Okinawan Festival, come say hi. We'll take a picture. Um, I also can't wait to eat so oh, no. much good food no. at the festival every no. year. Oh, the onzagi, yes. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of good food uh, there. By the way, look. In I fact, just that's why a lot of people... Aw! Cool! That's good job, super Reese boy! Cool. <laughs> All right, coming up, uh, we have the exclusive interview. Mm -hmm. Mikey's going to be sitting down with the cast. Yep.